We have another Xbox showcase next week. Could Killer Instinct be closer to making a comeback? And Turtle Rock, the devs behind Back 4 Blood are very excited about Xbox Game Pass. So yesterday there was a very exciting announcement for next week. It is that there will be another ID at Xbox showcase on August 10th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And last time they had an ID at Xbox showcase, I believe was back in March, and it was a great showcase where they showed off a ton of games, like some of the big games that we are playing right now. One of my favorite games of the year so far they showed off, which was Death Store. They showed off The Ascent. They showed off the Things like Dark Alliance, Among Us, Hello Neighbor 2, Stalker 2, Second Extinction, which is another fun game, and just a bunch of other stuff. So these ID and Xbox showcases, for me at least, are always just a great time, always have tons of great games that they do show off, and I love indie games, so I'm very excited for it. Now, when it comes to this event on August 10th, they give us a little bit of a sneak peek of what they are going to be showing off. So they will have game announcements from developers and publishers such as Rebellion and Chump Squad, and then I'm assuming a bunch of other ones. And then they give us a small sample of the games that will be shown, and that is going to be the Artful Escape, Ollie Ollie World, Library of Runa, and RPG time. And then they also say, which to me is always the most exciting things when it comes to these Xbox game events, these ID at Xbox events, is the Game Pass announcement. So there are gonna be Game Pass announcements and we'll see which of these new indie games that are coming out in the future are going to be landing on Xbox Game Pass. On top of that, there's actually going to be some live demos. So we're gonna be able to see some of these games in action. And if you remember, I believe it was either at the E3 showcase after that, they gave us a slate of demos, a lot of them indie games that we were able to try out. So hey, maybe after this ID at Xbox showcase, there's gonna be a bunch of demos for these new indie games coming out that we'll be able to try. Now one of the franchises currently that is laying dormant after they did the Xbox Series XS update to it, we haven't really seen anything new from it and people are waiting to know what is next with Killer Instinct. Now this is a game that when the Xbox One launched, I thought was actually a bright spot for a lot of people. You picked up your Xbox One, you're able to instantly jump into a brand new Killer Instinct and it was a fun fighting game. But we're still on that 2013 version of the game. So it's been a while since we've seen a new Killer Instinct and I think it would be a great time to revitalize it and give us a brand new next generation version because there is that fighting genre right now from Xbox Game Studios that is missing and would be a great staple in the Xbox Game Pass Xbox ecosystem library. So recently they updated their website and they say here, we've just updated the look of our website to improve long-term stability and ensure compliance with global accessibility standards. Gone is our select a fighter widget but all the info about gameplay and characters are still available and we've made no changes to the forms. Now you can read more about this and this could just be literally taking it as it is. It's just a website update and that's it. But now this has people thinking that they wouldn't be spending the resources and the money and doing a website update unless the franchise was looking to come back, unless they were willing to spend more and invest more into it. So like I said, I would love to see this game come back and this isn't the first time that we've heard about Killer Instinct trying to come back. Now, people have talked about this before, and this is from Jess Corden and Randall Thor a while ago on the Xbox 2 podcast, how they talked about how they know that Microsoft wants to bring back Killer Instinct. They want to make a sequel for, they want to make a new one for these next generation consoles, but there's nobody right now that is currently available to make it. And as we know, there are so many games being made within Xbox Game Studios. So, I mean, that could be something that is believable, but they have a definitely enough talent within their studios to make another great Killer Instinct game. I mean, this one here, the 2013 one was a lot of fun. And this again is where all these rumors come in where Xbox will potentially looking to acquire a developer like NetherRealm or something like that going forward to focus solely on those fighting games and Killer Instinct could be one of those franchises. But even if they don't acquire a developer like NetherRealm, I still think they could make a great Killer Instinct game for these next-year consoles with everybody that they have currently within Xbox Game Studios. And finally, to end off things today, Back 4 Blood. Back 4 Blood right now is in the open beta, the early access for it. I have access to it, but if you don't, I think you're going to be able to jump in like August 12th or something. And then it officially releases on October 12th, and it is going to be coming 
to Xbox Game Pass. And that to me is just such a huge thing, such a great thing because it's a highly anticipated game. If you liked Left 4 Dead, this is the spiritual successor, the game that you've been waiting for since the last Left 4 Dead game. And one of the most important things for a game like this is having a large community of players, a large pool of players that are gonna be able to jump in right away so that games are continuously going on. And Turtle Rock, the developers behind Back 4 Blood, talked about how Game Pass is a game changer for them. So right now, as we know, in terms of Game Pass subscribers, there's a potential like over 20 million subscribers. We don't have the exact newest number. I don't believe of how many subscribers there are, but there are a ton. And having a pool of 20, 23 million Game Pass subscribers on day one for a game like this is huge. And here's what Turtle Rock had to say. Yeah, day one launching on Game Pass, that's going to be kind of crazy, right? We need a player pool so that we've got matches going all the time. I think we've got the player pool from day one. I forget what the numbers are for Game Pass, but I think it's 20 million plus users, right? They will have access to our game from day one, which is kind of mind blowing. I've never launched a game that's had that kind of accessibility from day one. And it's great to see them recognizing this because this is something that I think a lot of developers think about before they put their games into Xbox Game Pass. It's that they put out a game and they just launch it for people to purchase. The player pool that they're gonna have access to right off the bat is gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of people, right, from all different platforms. It's not just going to be on whatever subscription model it's on. However, the chances that 20 million people are gonna be able to download and play it right away without actually having to go out and buy it is not there, right? So when you put it onto Game Pass, you get instant access to that huge pool. And on top of that, with a game like Back for Blood, it is cross-play. So the pool of players that are gonna have access to Back for Blood when it releases is gonna be absolutely insane. You have all the Game Pass subscribers, and then you have all of the people from the other platforms, and they can all just play together. So I think Back for Blood is gonna be a huge Huge game the community is going to be very large there's going to be a lot of awesome stuff coming out of it a lot of content coming from it as well so i'm excited for this game i'm going to be jumping into that open beta this weekend trying it out i played the close beta or close alpha whatever it was a couple of months ago and i thought it was extremely fun it really is that addictive left for dead gameplay so this game is one on my list definitely to check out day one on october 12th on game pass when it launches but anyways guys that's it for me like always let me know what you think about all the stuff in the comments below are you excited for the id at xbox showcase next week do you want another killer instinct and are you going to be jumping into back for bloods open beta this weekend or next if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new here and you like what you see throughout this video i'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to help this channel grow and help grow this community so we can have great conversations in the comments below thank you again for watching thank you for your support and i'll catch you in the next video